This video will show you how to integrate Quest Machine into RPG Builder. We're going to start with a completely empty project and first import Quest Machine. Then we'll import RPG Builder. Next, from Plugins, Pixel Crushers, Common, Third-Party Support, import RPG Builder Support. Then from Quest Machine Third-Party Support, import that RPG Builder Support Package too. This will import integration files into Assets, Pixel Crushers. From here, you can navigate to Quest Machine, Third Party Support, RPG Builder Support to access the PDF manual. Next, create a new empty folder in Assets, Blink, Tools, RPG Builder, Resources, Database named Quest Machine NPC Templates, spelled exactly as shown here. Then inspect Assets Blink Tools RPG Builder Resources Editor Data Editor Categories AI and add from the folder Assets Pixel Crushers Third Party Support RPG Builder Support Resources Editor Data Editor Entry Modules the file RPG Builder Editor Quest Machine module to the AI Assets modules list. Then reopen the Blink window. Check the AI section for a new subsection named Quest Machine. If you don't see it, you may need to close and reopen the RPG Builder window again. Now edit the RPG Builder Essentials script. Add this line, which you can copy and paste from the PDF manual. Then save the script and return to Unity. Now we'll open RPG Builder's Scene Loader window and edit the main menu scene. If you haven't already imported the Text Mesh Pro Essentials files, you'll need to do that now. Let's create a folder for our custom game files. This keeps them separate from the plugins files. In the Integrations Prefabs folder, I'm going to make a prefab variant of the Quest Machine prefab. We'll move this into our game folder and then create a quest database to hold our quests. Assign this to your quest machine prefab variant. For this tutorial, I'm also going to assign the demo database that's included in the integration. This way, the rest of the tutorial can work with those demo quests. This database has three quests, which you can see here. Finally, add an instance of the Quest Machine prefab to the main menu scene. Later on, feel free to customize the look of the Quest Dialog UI, Journal UI, and the other UIs to fit the look and feel of your game. In the RPG Builder window, navigate to Settings, General, Action Key List. Some versions of the Integration Manual have a typo that directs you to Settings UI, but it's in Settings General. Add a new Action Key, whose action name 
is UI Panel Quest Journal UI exactly as shown here, which you can copy from the manual. Set the key, which I'm setting to J here, and select a category such as UI. Remember to save your changes in the RPG Builder window. Next, edit the HUD prefab. We're going to disable RPG Builder's built-in quest log button and duplicate it to create a button for our quest journal UI. On our new button, we're going to replace the action that's assigned to on-click. Add a quest journal button component to the button game object. Configure the on-click event to call quest journal button dot toggle journal UI. We have one last thing to add to the quest machine prefab variant, and that's the components that tie quest machine save system into RPG Builder. Add a save system component and untick save current scene since RPG Builder will handle that. Then add a JSON data serializer and a player prefs saved game data storer component. That last component won't be used, but it silences a warning. In the RPG Builder window, go to AI Quest Machine and we're going to create an entry for the human NPC. This will turn the human NPC into a quest giver. Enter the name exactly as it appears in the NPCs section. You can toggle the checkboxes on or off as you like. In this example, we'll bypass the interactions panel. Then add the three demo quests. This will allow the human NPC to offer these quests. Save this entry, and then we need to go to the demo scene to set it up for those quests. To keep this video a reasonable length, I'm going to drop the pre-configured example assets into the demo scene, but I'll explain what they are as we go along. This game object is for the quest that asks the player to find the rune stone. It has a trigger collider that sends a message to the quest when the player enters the trigger. There's also a small helper script that sets up the boars for the boar hunt quest. It adds a combat entity event component that, when killed, makes the entity send a message killed with the parameter boar. There's also a similarly pre-configured boar in the prefabs folder, so you can take your pick of using the script or this prefab. Here you can see that it's configured to send that message killed boar to the quest. The quest itself has a condition to kill three boars, and it does this by counting the kills in a counter. The counter itself listens for that message killed boar. When that message is sent, it increments the counter. And again, here's the prefab showing that it'll send that message. So let's go back to the main menu and give this a try. Okay, so we forgot to add those scenes to build settings. We'll add them and then play again. Now if I run up to the human NPC and interact, it should show Quest Machine's dialog UI.
I'm going to accept the Find the Rune Stone quest. Once I close the window, if I press J, I can see it in my journal. So let's go find that rune stone. Before I actually enter the trigger, I'm going to pause the game so that we can take a look at what's going to happen. So here's the trigger game object, and we can see that there is a trigger event on it that calls a quest control components send to message system method that sends the message that the quest is listening for. If we take a look at that quest in the quest editor, we can see here the message condition that listens for that message. And so that quest node is true, and the next node directs us to return back to the human NPC. I'll fast forward this a bit. And there we go, quest complete. This quest uses an RPG Builder specific action that's included in the integration to give coins to the player. All of those RPG Builder specific conditions and actions are documented in the PDF manual. And that's how to integrate Quest Machine into RPG Builder. Thanks for watching.